YouTube, it's your girl Bookish Nerdy Girl coming at you with another video. It's of course going to be another anime reaction. I'm checking out the Sketch Dance all openings, so this is one through six. This was recommended to me a little while ago, and I wanted to get it up. Don't worry, I didn't forget ya. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm your girl Bookish Nerdy Girl. I do anime, I do video game stuff, horror stuff, comedy, um, and cartoon stuff. I obviously do things outside of those categories, so don't be afraid to drop a comment below recommending something that doesn't necessarily fit in, just because I still might end up watching it and reacting to it on here. Um, but yeah, let me just pull up the video. Again, we're checking out Sket Dances, all openings 1 through 6, and let's get it! Okay, we're going. Okay, so Sket Dance, um, I think they said this was made from the same people who did the Gintama openings or something. Or it's like a, uh, the same studio who did Gintama. That's what it was. That's what was told to me. Okay, so this, this, okay, so Sket Dancing, what is it exactly? Is it a sport that they do? Oh, okay. <laughs> He's got a crush. Okay, so they look like they all might be in high school or something. Or they all have different types of occupations. They're just chilling. They're like, nope, you can do it all. Okay, so I'm trying to guess what this is about. Okay, so it's schools, it's rivalries. Definitely still same things. I don't know if they're martial artists. Or they're just kind of like delinquent-esque feel because I'm kind of getting both right now so I'm not even really sure what the plot of this is I know it's not super serious it's not meant to be super serious okay so it looks like it's a company or like some sort of school thing <laughs> I just don't know what the point like what it actually is like what did they do the sketchbook. Okay, so they all have the wristbands. Okay, they're musicians? Is that what they are? They're like a high school musician group? That'd be really cool if it was an anime about a band. Like, I would possibly actually watch that. Whoa, shit. They seem like they're almost like inventors or something. <laughs> Okay. Like, it's really hard to tell what it's about because it's just kind of very slice of lifey from the looks of it. Which I'm totally fine with slice of life. It's kind of nice to get a break once in a while from, like, really slice of lifey animes to more serious. Oh, he took his glasses off. Uh-oh, he's serious. I like that they're like rockers now and they're like in a band. Are they like, I feel like they're undercover or something to some extent. Like maybe they're secret agents or something. And they do a plethora of different things. Okay, so they're related. Or they at least live together. So if they're high school students, like I thought, that's pretty obvious. It just seems like they go to, like, some sort of, um, oh, what's it called? Like a trade school. That's honestly what it seems like. Because he's super into technology and robotics from the looks of it. And she's there for sports. Okay, so each of them is there for a different reason. And they just happen to be cool with each other. Okay. School festival. I find it interesting that they're all pretty supportive and they all support the ambitions. Okay, the big girl is the fastest. Hell yes. Power to the big girls. 
So these are all the people that influence him some way, shape, or form, or that he's come across. I find it- okay, so they're both at, like, it's kind of like an art school from the looks of it. Because each one of them does something different. It's some sort of art or, like, trade school because they're all doing something different. I'm gonna have to look up the synopsis at the end of this because I'm just not getting it. Okay, so they're brother and sister. <laughs> she likes to beat him up. Okay, that's understandable. Please don't tell me he's, like, gauche and has a sister complex. I don't want to deal with that. Okay, this is a different feel. It seems a little bit more serious. Oh, that person was crying. I don't know why, though. Okay, so he's from the other side. Or she. Could be she. Kind of getting more of a girl vibe from that character. But, I don't know. That freaking creepy guy, and then this dude who's like the really goth guy that just sings all the time. Like... Oh my god, they're literally making fun of Tuxedo Man from Sailor Moon. <laughs> they're funny. Whoops. Whoops. What's up with the doll? Why were there kids? There was babies. I'll see. <laughs> okay, these are new characters. What is with her? Or him. Whatever. What is with that character? Oh, she's clumsy. <laughs> He's so creepy. They're just like, whatever. Do what you want. I don't care. Why is she a giant? I'm so confused. Oh my god. Love triangle. Oh god, the big girl likes the leader from the other side. Oh god. Oh, that's weird. Why are they sleeping in the same bed? Are they together? I'm so confused on what this is. There's so many different options because the opening is not being super clear about what this is. That's what's so hard about this. Alright, I think this is the last opening, guys. Okay, so there's definitely going to be some sort of love triangle formed, which is interesting. Or a few, honestly. Okay, so now they're just doing a normal day at school. Literally. But actually normal by normal standards. Hmm? What the hell? Who the hell is that? Uh, okay then. Okay, who the hell are all these new girls? This is so confusing. She saved the kitty! Oh, I like her. She saved the kitty cat. Okay, now it's Gundam? What the hell? How many different animes did they just, like, spoof in this? Okay, so it's one school versus another. Clearly, they only show the sigils and the logos for one reason. To show that there is a rivalry. I'm, I, like, I'm still just trying to figure out what this is about. Like, literally. 
Okay, so that's the end of the video, everyone. Oh my god, like, it was- it was good. I'm just trying to figure out what the main plot of it was. So I'm checking out a synopsis now to see if it can give me some more info on what this is actually about. Um, okay, so Sket Dance synopsis. I'm just like, I'm just so confused on what this is actually supposed to be about. Okay, so I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go with Anime News Network and see if they can give me something. Okay, so this is the synopsis for it according to Crunchyroll. At Kamiya High School, the Living Assistance Club, aka the Sket Brigade, was organized to help students with problems big or small. Most of the time, though, they hang out in their club room, bored with only a few trivial problems floating in every once in a while. In spite of this, they still throw all their energy into solving these worries. Okay, so... Basically, they just help people with their problems. They're like the fix-it people. That's kind of just how they are. So that's from my... Uh, sorry, yeah, that was from Anime News Network. I'm gonna go on to Crunchyroll and see if it gives any more in-depthness with it. Um, okay, so according to Crunchyroll, at... Uh, Kamai High School, the Living Assistance Club, was organized to help students with their problems, big or small. Most of the time, though, they hang out. Okay, so it seems like it's literally the same synopsis on Crunchyroll as well. So let me... I'll check IMDb. Sometimes they're good with their anime plots. Sometimes they're not. Um, so they help them with literally any problem, according to IMDb. So I'm clicking on this full summary. Um... They're, they partly do this to the ambiguity and strange set of individuals in the group. They are often looked down upon, but regardless, the three members will enthusiastically... So they're basically like busybodies. They like to help people, whether it's staff or students. And the other groups probably that, that we see in the openings, I'm assuming, do similar things, but they just don't like them. Uh, looks like we don't have a... Uh, yeah, they don't have a synopsis for the title. So I'm just going to go with that. They're basically just like fix-it people. That's what they do. They fix relationships. They fix, you know, um, staff issues, student issues, whatever they want to fix, they fix. Um, I'm not really sure if there's going to be anything, like, that they have to go through, like, tragic or anything like that. But, you know, whatever. Maybe I'll check out the show. It looked interesting enough. It was cool to see, like, different people helping people for literally no other reason than to just help people. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, remember to give this video a like and of course subscribe on the past 2,000 subscribers so I can just communicate with you guys better. And if something's going wrong technically wise, you'll know instead of just kind of sitting here waiting on one of my posting days, which are Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday going, where is the video that you promised us, Bookish Nerdy Girl? I don't see it. So this way, you guys will know a little bit. I usually let people know on like my twitter and stuff as well if i'm having any type of technical issues that way you guys have some semblance of idea of what's going on but yeah again i hope you enjoyed this video then you like and of course subscribe any recommendations i will take into consideration just literally drop a comment below or hit me up through my social media in case the youtube comment section continues to be wonky which is a possibility hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy peace out everybody